I'm with Aaron Klein, the most persuasive student at the University of Florida. And uh, Aaron, uh, I am going to uh, throw you a topic uh, right now. Uh, it'll be interesting. The uh, most persuasive student, I'm going to ask him this. The commencement ceremony at the University of Florida, give me an argument for changing the commencement uh, at the University of Florida. Sure. So I was at the ceremony where the controversy happened, so I definitely saw with you know first-person perspective. I would say the best argument for changing the way the ceremony happens is the sheer length of the ceremony as it currently stands. My ceremony was, I believe, at 1 p.m., 100 degree heat, and it was an incredible number of students and parents trying to get in and out, both from the ceremony and from Gainesville. So if there was some way to change the way names were delivered, some way to change the way people walk across the stage, that would definitely increase efficiency and, while at the same time, preserving the dignity of ensuring every graduate gets the attention they deserve. Okay, give me an argument against changing the ceremony. Oh my gosh, they've done it this way for decades. How could they all ever conceive of changing the way they structure this? Every student deserves their moment to wave at the audience, to enjoy the four years of work they actually put forth, and to earn that moment in the sun. Taking that away from every student ignores the fact that many students fought through many obstacles to get where they are. So it's a disgrace to make that change without actually asking the students what they truly think.